guys we're going to look at another topic which is in exact differential equation now in our last video we talked about how to solve briefly an exact differential equation so on this video we're going to be looking at how in case we test for exactness and in, and the derivative of m with respect to y did not actually give me the derivative of m with respect to x So did not actually give me the derivative of n with respect to x, then we call it in exact. So what am I trying to say? You know, on our last video we talked about test, testing for exactness. You say if you said if the n, the m with respect to y is not is equal to the n with respect to x, you said they are what exact, right? Now in this case where the m with respect to y is not equal to the n with respect to x, it is what in exact. So in case we come across this scenario, how are we going to solve the question? Now let's take an example. First, let me explain what this is. Now we are given two two expressions here. We said the function of x is equal to the m over the y minus the n over the x over n, where you know this is my integrating factor, right? We have exponential integral m dx. Then we have g, which is a function of y, dn over dx minus dm over dm dy minus dm dy over m, where the, my integrating factor is the integral of p with respect to y. Now these are two, two expressions which we are going to be working with. Now we test for the first expression. It take, the first step is to do is to test if it's inexact. Once we test it and, it, and it's inexact, we apply it in this equation. We assume a function of x. The m dy write my value, the m dx I write my value divided by n. Right? Now if I am able to um, if I am able to simplify such that the value I get will be equal to a function of x, then I can solve by multiplying through by my integrating factor. If not, if not I check for my second equation if the value I'm to if, if I apply my values of the n respect to the x and the m respect to the y into this particular question into sorry into this particular equation and I am able to get a function of y then I multiply through by my integrating factor which is with respect to y then I make the, the equation exact so I'm going to make the equation exact by multiplying my integrating factor through the expression or through through the question I'm giving. Now let's take an example so you understand what I mean. So now let's consider this particular equation. Now, like I said, to know if you have to solve using maybe solve maybe the equ the equation is an exact differential equation or an inexact differential equation it needs to be expressed in this form. So now let's write our general form for either exact or inexact differential equation so writing my general form for exact or inexact differential equation then i write which is equal to m which is function of x y dx right plus n which is a function of x y dy right giving my m to be equal to 3 x square y square right and my n to be equal to 4 open bracket x raised power 3 minus 3y three minus 3 right now the first thing now like i said you will know if it is an exact or inexact differentiation except you test for exactness so the first step we do is to test for exactness So, as to test if it's an exact differential equation, if not, it becomes an inexact differential equation. So, giving my m to be equal to 3xy square and my n to be equal to 4 open bracket x to the power 3y minus 3, right? Now, we said to test for, to test if an equation in, is exact, we said the derivative of m with respect to y will be equal to the derivative of n with respect to what? x, right? 
then now let's apply this to what we have here you say given that given that my m is equal to 3x square y square my n so my n is equal to 4 open bracket x to the power 3y minus 3 then differentiating m with respect to y i have the m the y is equal to 6x square y right now differentiating my n with respect to x the n dx is equal to 4 times x to the power 3y differentiating with respect to x that is 12 x to the power 2 y then 4 times 3 which is 12 differentiating 12 which is a constant becomes what zero then you see that derivative of m with respect to y and derivative of n with respect to x are not equal so which makes the equation given to be what in exact so since the m the y is not equal to the n the x then the equation is what in exact is that given so now my second step like we said is to assume like sorry my second step like we said is to get my integrating factor now the integrating factor that I, that I obtain which is can either be a function of x or y I'll multiply through this equation so now let's go so how do I get my integrating factor now we are given two particular equation which is f which is a function of x we have this and g with the expression of y we have this so we are going to to try these two equation or we can actually try the first one and it works out or you can try the first one and it didn't work out we try the second one so we are going to try this particular equation to either get my integrative factor to be either a function of x or either a function of y so now let's go on so given f which is function of x we have dm dy minus dn dx all over n right now let's try this particular equation so now we said the m dy is equal to 6x square y right and we said the n dx is equal to what 12x square y right then we said n is equal to 4 open bracket x square y minus 3 so now let's test it if you are going to get a function of x so imputing these values into the equation given we have the m dy which is equal to 6 x square y minus the n dx which is equal to 12 x square y right divided by divided by 4 open bracket x square y minus 3 now when I'm looking at this I can I cannot be able to get a function of x because if I take so you see that when I factor out x square y minus twelve x you see that when I factor out x square y I cannot be able to get a function of x I factor out six six minus two open bracket x square y then I'm left with twelve I'm left with four x square y minus three see that well i can't be able to get a function of x so this equation is not feasible then let's test my second equation which we are given to be g which is a function of y is equal to the n the x minus the m the y over m that taken now my the n the x we know is what 12 x y right so we have 12 x square y 12 x square y minus my dm dy which is equal to 6 x square y all over my m which is given as what if you check the previous question given is 3 x square y square now let's check if after solving this particular equation we are supposed to have a function of y so factoring out okay 12 x square 12 x square y minus 6 x square y gives me 6x square y right divided by 3x square y square 
So this x square will cancel x square. 3 in 3, 1, 3 in 6 is 2, right? Then y will cancel one of the y, which is giving me, which I'm left with 2 over y. So you see, this is a function of y. Then I have my function of y. So basically, my integrating factor now becomes integral, exponential of integral. The value I have here, which is 2 over y dy. That is why I said, if we are having a, well, if we get a function of y, my integrating factor, factor will be a function of y. If this had worked out, my integrating factor, factor would have been a function of x. So now let's solve this. Like I said, we multiply this integrating factor by the equation given to make our equation exact. So multiplying this integrating force, let's, let's simplify this my integrating factor. You know that exponential 2 over y, which is taking the constant back to the integral sign, this is 1 over y dy. Then we have 2, we have exponential 2, integral of 1 over y, which is lin y, right? Then we're having exponential lin y raised to power that's exponential in y raised to the power 2. Then you know that the, the exponential of the natural logarithm of a function will be, will be equal to that function. So exponential of lin y square is equal to what? y square. Basically, as we said, the exponential will cancel lin. That's that. So the exponential of lin y square is equal to lin uh, y square. So basically, this is my integrating factor, which will be multiplying the equation given by. So basically, we were given 3x square y square x plus 4 open bracket x raised to power 3y minus 3dy right equals 0 so basically you are going to multiply this integrating factor through this equation so we having 3x square y raised to power 4 dx plus 4 4 that's y squared times this which will give me x raised to power 3y raised to power 3 minus y squared times 3 which is give me 3 square dy equals zero so now since we have made this particular equation to be exact you want to still try it if it is, ex is exact now differentiate the m with respect to y and differentiate the n with respect to x and see if it is equal you can try that on your own to see that the equation we, are, we now have is now an exact differential equation so now let's solve remember we have not actually started solving we just have to test or make our equation to be exact because the equation given is an inexact differential equation is that taken so now how do we solve this particular exact differential equation using our simple step now we say since the function we are to get which is a function of x and y well to get a particular function which we don't know right then we know that the derivative of that function is equal to df over dx, dx plus df over dy, dy, right? Then we compare it. We know that the we know that m is equal to df dx and know that n is equal to df dy. So let's pick one of them and solve. So now, since by the m Sorry, since my mx, which is a function of y, is equal to 3x squared y raised to the power 4, and my n, given the new equation, is equal to 4 open bracket x raised to the power 3y raised to the power 3 minus 3y squared, right? Remember, we, I got these values from the new exact equation we have, which is 3x squared y raised to the power 4 dx plus 4 open bracket x to the power 3y minus 3y squared dy equals 0. So, now, given by derivative of f, which is said to be df d x dx plus df dy dy right then my df dx is equal to mx which is a function of x and y which is 3x squared y raised to power 4 and my df dy from my general form of equation that is comparing it 
my general form of equation that is comparing it to this equation my df dy is equal to this and my df dx my df dx is equal to that so so now the basic thing we do is that take one of them and differentiate it to get my function of f that is all so taking either the f dx or the f dy so taking let me take the f dx to be which is equal to 3x square y raised to power 4 right then integrating so let me just write this is 3x square y raised to power 4 dx right then integrating both sides integrating both sides we have f which is a function of x y is equal to differentiating with respect to 3 differentiating with respect to x we have 3 raised to power 3 over 3 y raised to power 4 plus c which is a function of y now c is a function of y like i explained in the last video because we are differentiating with respect to x and c and y is a constant so this cancels this we have x raised to power 3 y raised to power 4 plus c which is a function of y so basically the equation we are looking for this is the equation we are looking for is not complete because we don't know the value of my constant so how do we get the value of my constant if i choose to differentiate this particular equation with respect to y remember i differentiate i integrated it because it was with respect to x now if i choose to differentiate it with respect to y i should be able to have the same value as when i compare these two equation remember when i compare these two equation i have the f the the f dy is equal to 4 open bracket x power 3 y is power 3 minus 3 y square right now if i differentiate this equation i have here i should be able to have this particular equation not all of them actually i should be able to have a particular equation similar to this equation so i can be able to compare it to get my constant so now integrating or oh, sorry differentiating this particular equation with respect to y the f the y is equal to 4 x raised to power 3 y raised to power 3 plus my c prime of y right because we are differentiating this and this so c becomes c prime so comparing these two equation let me open let me let me compare it you have this one as what the f dy is equal to 4 x raised to power 3 y raised to power 3 minus 12 y raised power 2 right right now comparing these two equations we, we know that my c is a form my c prime of y is equals to minus 12 y raised power 2 right so integrating both sides integrating both sides what do we have we have differentiating both sides we have differentiating c prime of y we have c which is a function of y equals and differentiating Sorry, integrating both sides and integrating c prime of y, we have c which is a function of y, and integrating minus 12 y raised to power 2 will be minus 12 y raised to power 3 over 3. Right? So then we have 3 cancel 3, 3 in 12, we have minus 4 y raised to power 3. So basically, this is my constant c prime of y, which is equal to minus 4 y over 3. So rewriting it in the original equation, which is my function of y, my function of x and y, which I am to have is equal to is equal to x raised to power three, y raised to power four, plus c prime of y, right? Then since my c prime of y, sorry. Then since my c prime, sorry, this is my since my c, which is a function of y, is equals to minus four y raised to the power three, we have x prime x over three y raised to the power four minus four y raised to the power three, equating a constant c. So the function of y x and y, which I am looking for, is equal to x to the power three y raised to the power four minus four y raised to the power three equals c. So. Thank you guys for watching. This is how to solve an inexact differential equation.